Hey everybody, I'm so excited to be here with you today because I am gonna hook you up on some great information and some strategies so you can kind of conquer your social media and get it out there and stay consistent. I use Google Drive to do this and I'm gonna show you a behind the scenes look of how this works. Now, a lot of social media managers won't give you this tip or this insight to how they're getting it all done and how they make it so easy. So today, I'm gonna share you the behind the scenes sorcery when it comes to social media management. Okay, so we are in my Google Drive now and I wanna show you exactly the process I use to keep my social media on time, on track, and organized so that I can mass produce social media and that I'm not struggling for content every day of the week. And that's the key to this. And a lot of people don't tell you that. So the key is planning ahead. And you'll see I've got different files up here and we'll go into that in a minute. But what I wanna show you first is how I start with a master template. Okay, so we're gonna visit the master template. And in here, and this is gonna differ for everybody depending on what your industry is, what your goals are, what you want your followers to see. But basically I'll show you what I do for myself. I set it up for every day of the week, Monday through Sunday, and I assign hashtags to each day of the week. Now this helps me on Instagram and Twitter, it helps me broaden my reach, and that's a whole nother tutorial that I'll go through at another date, is how to maximize your hashtags for your fullest potential. So then once I have this template put together, I subcategorize each day so that I know exactly what I'm gonna talk about each day of the week, and that helps me come up with content pretty quickly. So for Mondays, I call it Social Media Monday, and I'm going to give people a tip about social media to help them, you know, make sure their social media accounts are, are doing the best that they can do. And then on Tuesdays, I'm going to do an announcement about my podcast. On Wednesday, I'm going to share something a little bit personal about me so people get to know me a little better. Thursdays, I'm going to tell people about my blog. And then on Friday, I'm going to end the week with a great quote. Some, something maybe motivational or something about business or social media. On Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to do something about me because, again, I want people to see what who I am and I want them to be able to connect with me. So that's what that template looks like. My suggestion to you is I want you to go in there and write content for a full month. And this content doesn't have to be huge. It doesn't need to be something like a, um, a blog post. Just share something about you, your business, your thoughts, whatever it is, so that um, you have a whole month's worth of written content done. So let me show you what this past week looked like. So if we click on August 19th, Again, I'm in my August 2018 folder, and I've got each week planned out for the month. So if I click on this week's file, you'll see I took all my images that correspond with the content that I'm going to talk about on social media, and I dropped it into my Google Drive folder for the week of August 19th. Now I want you to pay attention to something that I do when I name my images, and this helps me out with what my Instagram feed is gonna look like. If you notice, I put a number one in front of Monday. So I named this file Monday, August 20th, 2018, and I put LS, my initials, after it. So in case I've got a bunch of files open and stuff like that, and I'm dragging things into Google Drive, I know which client I'm working on, because I do this for all my clients. So as long as I have my initials on the back end, I know that this belongs in the Laura Shipman folder. So anyways, I numbered it with a number one because what happens is Google Drive will sort this either, will sort this alpha numerically. So I choose to use numbers in front of each day of the week so that Google will automatically lay it out um, Monday through Friday for me. It doesn't recognize the days of the week in putting them in order because they all start with different letters and they're not alphabetical. So anyways, 
So I do that. Now I can get a kind of a snapshot of what my week at a glance is going to look like in, on Instagram. And that's really important if you're trying to build an aesthetic on Instagram. So I really like that feature there when I'm building up my social media posts for the week. And then if we double click down here where it says on my Google Doc week of 8-19-18, I can double click on that and we can see that I've written out all my posts for that week. So now what I really love about this is the fact that it um, it's all done for me and I can access it from my phone. And as you know, Instagram is generated from your phone. It's not generated from a desktop. So there's two things I can do here. What I can do is I can go ahead and for Instagram, grab the content that I need on the fly wherever I am in the world and post automatically to Instagram. By working ahead this way, I can automatically schedule this to Facebook, to my Facebook page and to my Facebook group by using their native scheduler. And I can teach you how to do that in another training. So it makes it very easy. So if I've done a month's work of content, I can schedule out a month's worth of content on Facebook and never have to think about it again. But I do want to go in there on a daily basis and make sure that it, I answer people who have you know, commented on those posts. And then it's already done for you for Instagram, so you don't have to worry about it. All it is is a copy and paste. So let me show you what this looks like if I was going to do it for next week. Because right now I've got um, the week of August 26th, 18, and I color-coded this a gray folder, which means I haven't done anything with it. Anything that's green is a green light for me means I've completed everything. So what I want to do is I have my template sitting here. I want to make a copy of it. And then that generates. I'm going to move that copy into the week of 8:26. And all I need to do is click and drop. So we're going to open this up and right now it's called copy of template. So I'm just going to rename this. So I, all I did was I right clicked. I just right clicked here. I'm going to hit rename and I'm going to go week of 8, 26, 18 LS. And then open that up and just start. I'm going to start with my first tip. I'll write that in the the section here, let's pretend that's a tip, then I'll go down to the next one about my podcast, and so on and so forth, and then I'm ready for the week. And what I try and do is I try and batch my thinking. So right now I'm in a content writing uh, mindset, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the week of August 26th, then I'm going to do the week one of September, week two, week three, week four, so that I get all of the written content done for a month. And then I will show you in another video how I actually design and create my content. I hope this was helpful for you. If you want more behind the scenes tips like this, please hit me up in the comment section. I wanna help you. I'm here to serve you and to teach you how you can maximize your efforts on social media and save some time while you're doing it. I hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you on the next video.